58 years of passionate commitment to research and development and of standing behind the nation's defense services to give it more teeth and bulwark. At DRDO, we continue to lead, design and equip the nation's defense services with internationally competitive weapon systems, life support technologies and health and well-being interventions for our soldiers. Today, we present some of our latest products and ready-to-deploy innovations which will significantly enhance the preparedness and combat efficiency of our armed forces. This is the Weapon Locating Radar WLR, the Swathi. Equipped with a slew of high-end, state-of-the-art features, this C-band phased array radar locates hostile enemy artillery locations with high accuracy up to 40 kilometers away. And it also guides and tracks own fire to the precise impact points in the enemy territory, nullifying enemy weapons. Mounted on a Tatra vehicle, the WLR is designed for high mobility, quick deployment and decamp and has been tested to last the rigors of battlefield. Its highly advanced signal and data processing allows it to operate under all weather conditions, terrains and other interferences with ease. Nuclear, chemical and biological warfare is not a remote or distant threat anymore and we must be prepared should it happen. Developed over years of rigorous research, the NBC Recce vehicle is all set to be deployed. It is capable of effectively reconnaissance of radiological and chemically contaminated areas, demarcation of contaminated zones, real-time communication of digital data after analyzing the solid and liquid samples to the supported formation. Equipped with GPS navigation, meteorological sensors and radiation sensors, the utility of the NBC Recce vehicle goes beyond warfare and will prove to be indispensable in any NBC disaster situation. Radioactivity gets incorporated in the body through inhalation, ingestion, eyes, wounds and even through intact skin. DRDO has developed a range of radiation antidotes drugs and devices which can provide effective intervention in reducing the harmful effects of gamma radiation with 15 new drugs approved by the Drug Controller General of India and recommendations of the DGA FMS. Our efforts to make India a nation capable of managing nuclear disasters is beginning to come true.